Hello dear students, I welcome you all to the discussion on the quick solutions of All India Cash Test Series Medical 2020. We are taking code A and B of the test 3 which was conducted on 10th of November 2019. Now dear students, let us proceed to the first question of the test that is question number 1. Question number 1 says that a plane mirror is placed at origin parallel to y axis facing positive x axis. An object starts from 1 meter, 0, 0 with velocity of 4i cap plus 4j cap meters per second. The relative velocity of image with respect to object is. Now dear students, as the object moves, its component of velocity which is perpendicular to the plane mirror gets reversed in direction while the component of the velocity which is parallel to the plane mirror remains as it is, which means that the velocity of the image of the object would be equal to minus 4i cap plus 4j cap meters per second. Now dear students, it is given to us that the velocity of object is equal to 4i cap plus 4j cap meter per second and we have to calculate the velocity of the image with respect to object which will be equal to velocity of image minus velocity of object. Now substituting the given values in this expression, we get that the velocity of image is equal to minus 4i cap plus 4j cap minus 4i cap plus 4j cap. This is equal to minus 8i cap meters per second. Therefore dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1. Now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 2. Question number 2 says that consider a glass container with thick base containing water. A light is incident on the water from air at an angle of 30 degree with the normal as shown in the figure. The angle of incidence at the water glass interface will be. The refractive indices of water is equal to 4 by 3 and of glass is equal to 3 by 2 are given in the question. Now the students, as the light ray is incident from air to water, that means from a rarer to denser medium, as it moves in water, it bends towards the normal. So the light ray inside water can be drawn somewhat like this. Now the students, this particular angle is the angle of incidence that we have to calculate in this particular question. Now dear students, we can write down the Snell's law for this particular case. Herein the angle of incidence is 30 degree. Therefore, sin 30 into refractive index of air should be equal to sin i multiplied by refractive index of water. Now dear students, sin i would be equal to sin 30 into mu of air divided by mu of water. Now dear students, the refractive index of air is taken to be unity. Therefore, sin i is equal to sin 30 that is half into 1 divided by refractive index of water which is given to be equal to 4 by 3 as per the question. So we substitute 4 by 3 here, i turns out to be sin inverse 3 by 8. Therefore dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 3. Now let us proceed to the question number 3. Question number 3 is a theoretical based question and says that lens makers formula is applicable to first option thin lenses and for paraxial rays, second option thick lenses and for paraxial rays, third option thin lenses and for marginal rays or fourth option which says thick lenses and for marginal rays. Now dear students, we know that the lens makers formula is applicable when the lenses are thin and the rays are paraxial. Therefore the only option which mentions the conditions correctly is option number one and that should be our correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number four. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सेज इफ ट्यूब लेंथ ऑफ एन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप इज एटी सेंटीमीटर एंड मैग्निफाइंग पार इज फिफ्टीन फॉर नॉर्मल एडजस्टमेंट देन दोकल लेंथ ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस इज नॉट ये स्टूडेंट्स द ट्यूब लेंथ ऑफ द एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप इज इक्वल टू एफ नॉट प्लस एफ ई वेन द एडजस्टमेंट इज नॉर्मल विच मीन्स दैट द फाइनल इमेज इज फॉर्म एट इन्फिनिटी ऑल्सो द मैग्निफाइंग पावर इज इक्वल टू एफ नॉट बाय एफ ई Now the magnifying power is given to be equal to 15, which means that f naught is equal to 15 fe. Now, dear students, the tube length is given to be equal to 80. Therefore, 80 is equal to f naught plus fe. Substituting the value of f naught in terms of fe, that is, f naught is equal to 15 fe in this equation, we can write that 80 is equal to 16 fe, or Fe is equal to five centimeters. Now, dear students, we have to find out the focal length of the objective. From this expression, we can write that f naught is equal to fifteen into five, which will be equal to seventy-five centimeters. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number three. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number five. Question number five says that refractive indices for a glass prism for red, yellow, and violet colors are 1.690, 1.694, and 1.704 respectively. The dispersive power of the glass is nearly. Now, dear students, the dispersive power can be written as mu v minus mu r divided by mu y minus one. Where mu v is the refractive index for violet, mu r is for red, and mu y is the refractive index for yellow. Substituting the given values, we can write 1.704 minus 1.690 divided by 1.694 minus 1. On further solving, we get 0.014 divided by 0.694. Which is approximately equal to 0.02017, which can be further approximated to 0.02. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number three. Now, let us proceed to the next question of the test, which is question number six.